here on Mount Baker. I was gonna do Ptarmigan Ridge, but walking up to the Vista Trailhead, quite a bit of snow on the ground. I'm sure the Southeast slopes don't have as much snow on them, but I figured I'm gonna try to stay a little bit lower and look for berries and uh, get around some of these little alpine lakes where I'm hoping the bear will be stocked up, feeding a nice and cool spot. I hope they can lay down and get some shade. Um, lots of water available for them everywhere, so lakes aren't really key on that, but I'm also trying to get some over. I can pack one of these guys out for myself, especially hiking a few miles back. over there I got about three different lakes I'm gonna go walk around and check out and see if I see any bear sign if I do I'll post up it's not not too bad of a hike back it's only about I think maybe three miles top so that'd be a really nice pack out <laughs> Two yards. We dropped him, baby. We dropped him. Oh, I got a bad pack out, but it's worth it. Let's see what we can fit in the bag. That's one thick, deep draw. I almost walked down this too. And... God, there's just cliffs everywhere. I was just sitting there thinking, like, ah, oh, I don't want to go in that deep. God, I don't want to go in that deep and I can win on the top of this cliff and. Wind was right, everything was right. Oh man, I couldn't have asked for a better scenario as long as I figure out how to, how to get down to him. It's just cliff after cliff after cliff. Juvenile bear, that's okay. I'm by myself packing it out. It's gonna taste great. I'm really excited about this, my first one. So, you know, I'll take what, I'll take what God gave me and I am so happy and proud of this thing. I'm gonna break it down and get her out of here. All right, broke her all down, did it in 30 minutes. Flies are biting me. It's like 85 out. I'm just, I, I had to just break it down as quick as humanly possible. It might not be the prettiest job, but I got it done. Luckily, I got a creek right there. I've been washing my hands and washing the meat off. Um, and I'm gonna wrap it all up, get it and start trekking. I got about five miles to get back and it's, it's hot out. So she all good, all broken down. Got everything over there. Lightweight, baby! To like number five. Hi. Oh. Beat. I dropped two bags off at lake number four. I'm gonna go get my truck, which is still about another mile. And then drop to another spot. I can, which just should be going to be about half a mile. Pick the rest of it up. Back to my truck. I'm dead. But it was an epic day. Welcome back to Crow Island Farms in the Woods. My name is Chef Dean. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a wild game stew with a bear shank in light of spring bear. Uh, we are in collaboration with Hunt Harvest Health and we're out in the woods and we're going to get cooking. Come join me around the fire. <music> Fire's hot, ripping and roaring. I got the pot right in the back corner. I got a cast iron pot with a little bit of olive oil in it. It's starting to smoke, so I know it's nice and hot up to the temperature I want. I'm gonna start with my bear shank. We're not dredging it. We're just gonna sear it four minutes each side, get golden brown flavor, build a little bit of fond in that pot. We're gonna reserve it. Then we're gonna hit it with our uh, bacon. We're gonna start rendering bacon, get that fat in that pot where we're gonna cook all our vegetables. We got some carrots, some onions, some celery. Um, some mushrooms, gonna start sweating it out where the onions start turning a little bit translucent. Here with our garlic and shallots, we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste in there, caramelize it. We want that depth of flavor coming throughout the whole dish, and that's that tomato paste. We have a nice nutty aroma. We're gonna deglaze with Marsala wine, it has some sweetness to go with that bear. Hit it with a little bit of whiskey because that'll give us that nice smoky texture and our flavor to go with our outside dish, cooking over that, you know, open fire and that bear and outdoors. Um, then we're gonna hit it with our, our beef stock that we made in our first tutorial. And we're gonna let that all stew for about four to six hours until the meat pulls away from the shank. We'll finish it with some roux and a little bit of sour cream. Let's start throwing stuff in that pot. All right, we're putting our bear shank in there. It's about two pounds. Season with salt and pepper.
away from the bone it's still pretty tough right now we're gonna let it go for about another two hours and we're gonna start breaking it down and then strip all the protein off this bone and then we're gonna thicken the sauce and add our sour cream more fresh herbs we're about to add our potatoes in there in about another half an hour all right we're about an hour and a half here you can see that shank pulling away from the bone we're just gonna keep rotating it about every half an hour you want that liquid to go halfway up the protein just like the venison shank that way all the liquid goes in and out and back in. It's starting to get a little more tender. It's still kind of tough. We want it to peel away from that bone nice and easy. All right, we're gonna check our stew. We've been going on for about three hours now. We got about one more hour to go. Ooh, that smoke. Look how tender that stuff's starting to get. Ripping off from the bone. We got about one more hour. I'm gonna add about one more cup of water. We want to peel all this meat off this bone and then add it back in here and we're going to thicken it with a roux which we're going to get on the fire here very soon and then finish it with some sour cream fresh herbs do some roasted bone marrow and uh some garlic bread it's gonna be a wonderful dinner all right we got the butter melting i got the garlic bread on the fire Shank's cooking very, very nicely. Everything's pulling off the bone. Probably about another half an hour on that guy. Look at that stuff, it's stripping off. We're almost there. All right, we got our bone marrow right here. It's got all wrapped up with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna put that right on the coals. Let that cook. For our butter going, got some flour. Putting in that butter. Little by little, by weight, mix it in. And let it cook for about four or five minutes over the fire. We want it a nice paste. And that is gonna be what's thickening our soup in here. All right, I pulled all the protein off the shank. You can see the bone right there. I throw that guy in the fire. Everything's broken down nicely. We're gonna take our roux. our flour and butter mixture, put it in, stir it up, let it get a little bit hot so it starts thickening. All right, we got our bear shank stew, we got our hunter's toast, some roasted bone marrow, and uh, we're gonna have a nice dinner on the fire. Thank you for joining us tonight, bon appetit.